And so the countdown begins. Bitcoin looks absolutely ready to explode. But the question remains, is this going to potentially be a massive breakout to the upside or a massive breakdown deep into the crypto abyss? What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Crypto Kirby here, your cryptocurrency expert, back with another edition of the daily live stream. What is going on, my friends? Today, I'd like to discuss Bitcoin and the action we're seeing inside the chart right now. After a heinous breakdown and rejection, another double tapanachi, if you will, Bitcoin right now is hanging on by a thread here. I do see some bullish signs though there is some some things that we need to consider here because this isn't just oh kirby so we're going down to zero kirby oh right now i'm seeing a story being built for the bulls and also i'm seeing a story built for the bears and i'd like to discuss both of these in depth with you here today so as a full-time trader i'd like to discuss with you my strategy my game plan and how i plan to crush this market right now in the immediate term so without any further ado you guys already know the deal if you like these daily crypto videos and nightly live streams smack that thumbs up button click the subscribe tick the little bell and let's get this crypto moon the likes ladies and gentlemen moon them up all right so we'll begin with our bitcoin technical analysis and of course before we begin this is not investment advice this is not trading advice these are only my own opinions ideas and speculative hypotheses on the market always do your own research and your own due diligence before investing or trading as this market is extremely high risk and i am not your financial advisor i will never tell you what to do with your trades or investments that being said let's begin right here on the four hour time frame Clearly, ladies and gentlemen, Bitcoin is still respecting this bearish action we've seen formed here since our high at roughly 14,000. This has been uh, a straight month now of, of a decline. Straight lower lows and higher and lower highs, excuse me, getting tongue tied. Lower highs and lower lows. Right now, Bitcoin is flirting with yet again making another lower low right now. But the interesting part here, is that we are finding support on our green box of, of old prior consolidations, prior resistance, which then flipped into new support. It has acted as support on our previous lower low. And right now, for the time being, we are seeing a new consolidation after our dump, potentially creating a higher low for the time being. But this is hanging on by a thread right now, in my opinion, my friends. So we need to really look at what's going on here. So. We've dropped below our old support range, right? Which now, theoretically, old support may in fact look to become new resistance. And if we look at the characteristics of what this trend has been doing here, let's, let's examine, right? So here, we had our first support range, right? We dumped, had our first support range, a dump, and then we retested, right? We turned this old support right into new resistance. Then it dumped. We tested it again, it dumped. Then, my friends, right, we've now looked to retest up to this level and the old support here that we built for the time being, which was this region here, right underneath the resistance box, right? That became the support, chopping for a while. Now, we dropped and retested and where was the new resistance, ladies and gentlemen? Ding, 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 chicken wings for dinner, tofu if you're vegan, the underbelly of our old support has turned into new resistance once again. So right now, my friends, this has certainly been the characteristic of this trend, that old support has been turning into new resistance time and time again. So if we extrapolate that here and we, we look to see will this characteristic continue, my friends, it's very close to where we're at right now, which is quite concerning for me because as we can see here, this is the old support region, which is this blue box between 9,700 and 9,900 roughly. Uh, that is the old support, right? So if this were going to continue that trend, we could expect to see some rejection within this box, right? Ranging anywhere from 9,700 to 9,900. Let's get this crypto. So this is interesting because this is not far away, right? This would be much more healthy, in my opinion, 
if we had some room to travel up here, right? And we could, right? We could certainly test right up through here. This could wind up just being a, a BART, right? And we go and we, we retest. Uh, but let's let's look at this before I continue with that BART theory right there, okay? I want to look at the RSIs here on the four hour time frame. We have seen now, ladies and gentlemen, a bullish divergence painted here on the four hour time frame, okay? So we're seeing a higher low in the RSI. And when we go back to the chart here, uh, I want you to see that the price, right, has actually gone lower in the chart, but our RSI has remained climbing higher, right, with a higher low trajectory. That is a hidden bullish divergence there, right, which many a moon boy, uh, many of a degenerate may not understand, ladies and gentlemen, right? Oh, it's going down to zero, Kirby, oh! The thing is here is that although we still are in a bearish structure, right now we are coming up and finding support along this green box of, of support for me here, which ranges from 9,000 all the way up to 9,450. We're finding support along this range right now. We have, for the time being, continued to keep a higher low trajectory here. We're seeing a bullish divergence on the RSI here on the four hour time frame. And also, if we go to the daily time frame here, we are tentatively looking to paint this bullish divergence here as well, albeit it's much smaller, but it is there, right? This a straight line across from here, ladies and gentlemen, uh, is is lower, right? You see that? That's straight lower. So right now, albeit on the one day time frame, it is a smaller divergence, but it is more clear cut here on the four hour. And I am not uh, looking to disregard this in my analysis by any means. But now let's let's discuss back here to the the resistance zones, okay? Because we've seen that this trend here, right, the old support then turns into new resistance. It's happened over and over again. So for me right now, this range of first tentative resistance is not very far away at the time of recording. I mean, we're less, essentially less than 2% at the time of recording uh, from 9,500 up into this box with the top of this box only being 4% away. So for me, I would expect to potentially see some, some bearish activity inside this range or, or, this is the other factor, ladies and gentlemen. We just get a BART, another identical candle to this one, but to the upside to retest this level here, which I also believe is possible. And, and why you may ask, well, if we go to the five minute time frame, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's, it's very clear to see this move took place in one, you know, one five minute candle, essentially. So the thing is right now is the market movers are, are playing a heinous game in here. Uh, they're looking to liquidate over leveraged traders. They're looking to hit stop losses of traders that do not have them properly set up, et cetera, et cetera. And right now, uh, this is this is an absolute dream for them here to potentially wreck more people. So I don't want to rule out of the equation that although we've seen that this pattern here of the old support becoming new resistance uh, has played out time and time again here in this trend. This one's very close for me here, right? It fits the characteristic, but it's very close. Uh, and the volume has really tapered off dramatically since since this candle here. Uh, and for me right now, it wouldn't be out of the equation to see a, a BART right back up to this region. Uh, and that's, that is where I would say uh, the line in the sand may be getting drawn here for the bulls as if they get rejected here once again. This could be the catalyst to bring us down deep into the crypto abyss. Although if they break this, you know, we have some some shimmer of light here, right? A hope for the bulls, okay? But uh, I want to really discuss, guys, why this is a zone here for me that's really interesting. Because right now, as you can see, I was pointing it out, the trend right now, in my opinion, is still inherently bearish. I mean, we've topped out uh, on a macro level. We've stuck in lower highs, consecutive lower lows after lower lows. Uh, and right now... The volume, obviously, we could see has tapered off here, right? Look at the, the red moving average. The moving average for the past month has just declined dramatically, which in my opinion is indicative that the bulls are no longer uh, getting very greedy up in this territory. The bulls are actually a little bit scared right now. You know, they're stepping on the brake a little bit. This is also 
in, indicated here by the Crypto Fear and Greed Index, which is painting absolutely the lowest readings we've seen in quite some time, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're actually at a 16 right now as of uh, the latest update here. So for me right now, we're seeing sustained fear on the crypto fear and greed index. We're not seeing the volume maintained here. Uh, and with dramatic moves, uh, you know, of, of roughly, let's, let's just take it for what it is. Let's measure it, right? You know, moves of, of roughly 6% or more happening in five to 10 minutes here. Uh, we can see right now that the game is being played by the market movers. Now, as diligent traders looking to strike like a cobra out of the grass and crush this market, we must understand that this is the game that they play, right? And if you are going to strive to be successful in this market, you should not be, be thinking about surviving in this market, right? It's not about survival. It's about thriving, not surviving, but thriving. And if you are going to thrive in these conditions, you need to think like the market mover, right? You need to stay one step, nah, nah, two steps ahead of every algo, trader, bot, etc. inside this market. And right now, Don Don Carbonaccio is getting ready to strike like a cobra out of the grass inside this range. You should all know by now that I had taken an immaculate short position all the way up from a high of 11,045. I set up a short ladder, dollar cost averaged in, scaled into my position. That is a strategy I love to use as it helps me get filled. Uh, it helps me play a zone or a range rather than just one specific price point. This is how I've been crushing the market. Uh, right now, I'm getting ready to take more positions. I crushed the entire move here right from the tippy top, ladies and gentlemen, down into the crypto abyss. And prior to that, right here, ladies and gentlemen, the other top struck upon it like a cobra out of the grass, closed it down here. You could see that trade review from me here uh, just as well. Now, uh, shout out to my VIPs. I'm going to continue to play this range aggressively here, and I believe that an explosive move is coming. Low volume, coiled up between a resistance and a support, right? Look at where we are, ladies and gentlemen. I just want to draw a percentage tool here so you understand my personal range. Bitcoin is coiled up within a 2% range right now, 2.68 to be exact. Uh, and for me right now, this looks like it's ready to kaboom. I don't know what else to say. Uh, like I said, the market movers right now are, are heinous. They're playing a game of massive candles in a very short amount of time. And you do not want to be getting caught on the wrong end of these things, ladies and gentlemen. So right now, personally, I'm strategizing for if we get that BART up, right? If the bulls want to potentially test back up to this region here between 10,000 and 10,200. Also, I'm formulating strategies for if we break down below, put in a new lower low. Is this a point where I'm going to be looking to, to stack buy orders and go long, play contrarian, and look to school these moon boy degenerates as they get wrecked on the way down? Or am I looking to stack shorts here as well and continue to see the further downside action? I have a plan for every direction right now. I'm monitoring the charts 24-7 with an eagle eye, and I'm going to be keeping you all updated around the clock 24-7 in VIP with every single trade I make, every strategy that I formulate, etc. When I enter my positions, when I exit my positions, take my profits, move my stop losses, and get this crypto. I keep you all updated around the clock 24-7 in VIP. So shout out to my VIPs and shout out to all of my new future VIPs joining VIP right now after this video. I will see you in VIP right now. Let's get this crypto. So now that I've covered the immediate trend right here, I want to show you something else that's been on my mind lately. So you all know I've been talking about the market cycle, right? a potential bubble pop scenario that could see us coming back down uh, into my green box zone here, uh, or even the pink box anywhere in this region, down below, uh, you know, 7,000 potentially, or anywhere below 8,000 to 6,000. Uh, and right now, I'd like to show you some further, uh, further evidence here that I've found that I believe that a breakdown 
even dramatically to these levels would be healthy for the overall trend, in my opinion, and may help us build a base to begin that next multi-year bull market. Let's get this crypto. So let's move over now to the long-term market cycle macro charts. But if you are just tuning in now, don't forget to moon up the likes, moon them up, smash those thumbs, click the subscribe button, tick the little bell, let's get this crypto. Satoshi needs a new pair of shoes. Sheesh. All right, so I want to now examine this. So just a, a quick recap in case you're not familiar with this. If you haven't, if you're not subscribed here, you should be by now. Uh, this stream right here, these moon boys and the degenerates, they like it or they don't like it, but, but they better learn to love it, ladies and gentlemen, because this is the best thing going inside the cryptocurrency space today. Let's get this crypto. This stream right here, we keep it 100% realistic. No moon boy mentality, no doom boy mentality. And all I'm showing here is that our Fibonacci retracements line up perfectly, in my opinion, with this area of confluence for me down here. Uh, it would, in fact, match the market cycle uh, characteristics for me here. And now I want to look at the monthly time frame. This is something I have not examined with you all here in quite some time. And the reason that I'm pulling this up here is because I want to look at the RSI, okay? And if we pull up the RSI, let's get this. Whoa, it's lagging. All right, there we go. If we pull up the RSI here, uh, I want to make this very clear that, uh, why is this not loading here? Oh, there it is, okay. It's lagging, there we are. Okay, if we look here at the RSI, I'm going to remove this actually here, and we draw a line right here. This is an area of significant confluence for me here. And the reason that I'm stating this is that this line right here at about a 57, okay, when we've broke above this level, right, it's led to an immaculate bull market. When we've broke uh, down below this, obviously it's been a bear market bear market over here as well and over here bull market. So right now we we are trading above this on the monthly time frame for the time being. Now is this indicative that a bull market has begun? Well, we have started to turn back down now, right? But we still have a ways to go here uh that this could move back to the downside. And if this level is to hold, ladies and gentlemen, right? Maybe we see that our next monthly candle brings us down into this range, right? Brings us down to this 0.618 Fibonacci in the low 7,000s. And maybe, just maybe, this is just speculation on my end. It's just an observation. Maybe it brings us for a retest of this line here. We hold support here along this line. And this, my friends, starts our next rally, right? With our base being built at the old levels of, of bull market territory on the monthly RSI, right? And we are able to sustain above here and potentially move into the next one. Uh, it's just a very simple observation, right? That we can see that we've been uh, in bull markets, macro bull markets above this line, macro bear markets below the line. I mean, it doesn't get any simpler than that. And right now we, we are above this line. So although I do believe that we could see some further bearish action here, for me, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I don't want to discredit this right here, right? And the fact is we are above this line in the sand, which has been historically uh, very accurate in looking at the macro trend. So I'm going to monitor this. If we drop down to 7,000 or 6,000 and we're still holding this line here, very, very healthy in my opinion, ladies and gentlemen, as this, uh, it may seem like the end of the world to many, right? If we drop down to this region. But when we look at some hidden aspects of this trend, it may in fact be very healthy. Same with the NVT, right? The NVT right now is still breaking down. I mean, we, we are clearly below the line in the sand here of support, uh, which has led many times in the past to just immense sell-offs in this market. And right now, we see this trend here, right? The spots that this has been breaking down to have been building higher high or excuse me yes higher lows right so my speculation here is potentially we hit this area here and if that is in fact the case ladies and gentlemen maybe we break down there and look for a healthy retest up maybe that uh we uh monthly rsi winds up finding itself uh testing this line here which in my opinion would be very healthy overall for a bounce back up in concern of the macro trend let's get this crypto so right now there's a lot of conflicting 
indicators here, ladies and gentlemen. I just want you to know that right now, if you do not have a plan, uh, you know, best of luck to you, my friend. I have a feeling that many are going to get wrecked here, absolutely caught like a deer in the headlights. And they're going to take the trip to Wrecked City with Average Joe and James at the water cooler. Again, ladies and gentlemen, all this whole trend here, Don Don Carbonaccio has been crushing it like a two-ton man on a tuna fish can. And right now, I'm preparing to take more trades, more entries, to, to crush the market, ladies and gentlemen. So right now, uh, I'm going to keep you all updated in VIP with my trades here. I'm expecting an explosive move. It could be it could be hours, it could be minutes, uh, it could be days. It, right now, all I know is that we are coiling up here for an explosive move, in my opinion. And whether it moves up or whether it moves down, you best believe Don Don Carbonaccio is looking to crush this market, either direction, long or short, and I'm going to be trading this aggressively, and I will be keeping you updated to the exact second with my trades in VIP, exactly when I enter, exactly when I formulate my strategies. Do not get caught like a deer in the headlights here, ladies and gentlemen. Do not be taking that trip to Wrecked City with Average Joe and James at the water cooler. You're better than that. Today is the day. It's time to transform yourself from average Joe into savage Joe. Let's get this crypto. That being said, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you know, uh, this is it. It's the boiling point. Are you going to be the one that crushes it or are you going to be the one that gets crushed? The choice is yours. So my friends, I will see you all in VIP right now. Shout out to my VIPs and shout out to all of my new future VIPs joining VIP right now after this video. Let's get this crypto. I'm ready to crush it. Are you? Let's get this crypto. Guys, if you could one last time, moon up the likes, moon them up, smash those thumbs, click the subscribe button, tick the little bell, and let's get this crypto. Don't forget about the potential bullish divergence on the RSI on the four hour and the one day. Don't forget about this support here. And also, ladies and gentlemen, do not forget about the bearish confluence resistance to support flips over and over here again. Interesting market conditions. And right now I'm monitoring it, ready to strike upon opportunity when I see it present itself. I'm strategizing right now for every scenario in every which direction. And I will be keeping you all updated with that as I take my trades in real time in VIP. Let's get this crypto. I'll see you all in VIP right now. Shout out to my new future VIPs joining VIP right now, at, right after this video. I will see you in VIP right now. Let's get this crypto. And until next time, my friends, the Don has spoken. Be safe. Be happy. Be healthy. It's your boy, Crypto Kirby. Peace and love, my friends. Curbs.